started. Thank you all so much for joining us tonight. My name is Courtney Tedrick, the head of community engagement at Wheaton Public Library. I'm oh, excited to announce that El Tiro is the library's new vendor in our cafe space. El Tiro has three restaurant locations, so Wheaton, Geneva, and Aurora. They also have a coffee house in Aurora, so they're already well versed in all things coffee. So we are so excited to have them open soon, me personally as well as a coffee lover. So Roberto will be joining us soon, but in the meantime, I'm going to be playing um, the cooking demonstrations. And the first recipe is tacos. Hello guys, so uh, again, you know, we have to make it a uh, Chilango tacos. It's very popular in the restaurant. It's very easy to make guys. So let me start to do the, all the ingredients for you guys. So we have here the, this is Chris steak. Okay, that we call a arrachera. So the only thing you get to buy in the store, you know, and uh, it's already peeled and everything, so you can buy it in the store. The only thing we want to do is put a little bit of salt and pepper, so you don't have to put nothing else, just salt and pepper. Okay, put them both sizes. All right. So and after that, so you see, I can put it in my grill. Okay. So let's, let's leave there, you know, like about five minutes. We're gonna make the salsa, the salsa, the avocado, tomatillo salsa, okay, I have my blender in here. So if you see, we can put a little bit of tomatillos. I'm making like about 10 tomatillos in here. In case of fresh tomatillos, put some like a cut of yellow white onions. You guys remember we use the serrano peppers and not for the drink. So we can put it just a little bit. So, and put a little bit of cilantro in here, okay? All right, you see? So, and let's do blend that one in here. Okay, the last thing you have to put it is avocado because that's avocado tomatillo salsa. We have a couple slices in here, avocado. Okay, let's put it in here. I recommend that always try a little bit, you know, because sometimes it's too thin or sometimes it's too spicy. So they miss a little bit of the salt. So here, I need to put some more, more salt and pepper, okay, and put a little bit more avocado, I think it's a little more, more thin, thinner. Your salsa, you see, it's avocado with tomatillo, it's a beautiful salsa. So, you guys, if you guys need a little more heat, put a little bit more serranos. If you need more salty, put a little more salt and pepper. So, it's very simple, guys. Don't forget the, the steak, you know, steak is right now and the grill. You can cook both, you know, both sizes at the same time. So I have a potato, this is just, just a regular potato, okay? I recommend put some in water, you know, because if you're not putting it in water, this is gonna be a little dry. So this is a piece of potato. I'm gonna cut it a little bit for you guys. Make it a little bit. A little bit of potatoes, a slices of potatoes. potatoes in here okay let me put it and uh, I have a saute here with a uh, with oil, oil okay 
Let's just So when we put in the tacos, we're gonna put in the steak. We cut in a little bit of the cubes, the steak. We, uh, we put a little bit of the potatoes, fried potatoes. We put a queso fresco, you can buy it in the you know, Mexican store. And uh, we put a little bit of salsa. So it's gonna be tortillas, the steak, salsa, uh, queso fresco, and the potatoes they cook right now. So this is there we call al chilango tacos. That's a very popular taco in, in Altiro. A lot of people like it, so I made, as you see, it's very easy to make. All right, so let's, let's that one. I have it running here, my my potatoes. Okay, so put over there. Okay, so let's let's cut it. Cut the steak. Okay. You guys can do like medium, medium rare. I'm not recommended rare, you know, because it's tacos. But I always recommend to try like a medium, you know. Medium rare, not, you know. But I always recommend to try them. Medium is perfect. You see. You see the. You see the steak right now. Okay, so this is the steak. Let's get our tortillas, guys. And our potatoes are still, you know, cooking here, you know. Another piece of steak, it's still cooking it for another top as we made it. Okay. So let's, let's use that one here. Put my steak in here. You can see how we cook, we cook a medium term. So it's a beautiful. The only thing you need to put in the and the steak is is use use salt and pepper or anything else, okay? Put that one in here. Okay guys, so now it's the tac this uh, tortilla with the steak. Let's put a little bit salsa. Remember we're making the salsa. I'll put a little bit of salsa in here in each taco. Okay. Put a little bit of queso fresco, so you can buy it in any Mexican store. Okay. And I put the potatoes, it's cooking right now. Okay. So these tacos we call a Chilango tacos. It's a couple of the most popular tacos in Artiro. So if you see, it's very simple to make it. You know, it's a scary steak with avocado tomatillo salsa, queso fresco, and fried potatoes. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Guys, again, and this is Roberto from Altira Latin Fusion. So I show you guys how you guys made it the al alambre. Uh, this is what we call in the restaurant in Altiro al alambre is at, uh, on the side the tapas style. But uh, some people they call like uh, fajitas something like that. It's a little similar to the fajitas. So it's very simple to make. So you remember we make it the skewer steak. You have chorizo, so you guys can buy the chorizo in the Mexican stores. Just, just buy it and 
and that's it. That we have a bell peppers, you know, mixed bell peppers, and we have a pickle on the red onions. Uh, we have a little bit of salt and pepper, and we have a chihuahua cheese. This is what we call chihuahua cheese. Some people they can use some mozzarella, but I recommend try the chihuahua cheese. So it's different flavor. And we have a, uh, the salsa we make it before for the chilango tacos. It's avocado tomatillo salsa. So it's very simple, guys. So let's put the let's put the peppers and uh, and the and the onions and the, and your grill or your house in the pan or everything is put in it. put a little bit of olive oil okay that one's very easy to cook guys put a little bit of salt and pepper okay and let's do this i'm going to put the, the steak and the grill also too you want to mix everything together guys that's the best way you can make your your alambre tacos So it's a scary steak, chorizo, bell peppers, red onion, salt and pepper. And we have our avocado tomatillo salsa. It's a tomatillos, onions, a little bit of serrano peppers, um, and avocado. And we have a chihuahua cheese in here. So let's weigh a little bit of they cook all the stuff in here. No. If you want to try it with tortillas, it's fine. If you not, you know, you can just try it. Use the steak and the chorizo and the bell peppers. So, and uh, you can use, uh, I like a corn. This is white corn, but they can use it maybe a flour tortilla. So whatever you guys want. So let's put let's put the cheese. Do you guys get where you can go? You can put the cheese in here, you know, cover everything in cheese. Or you can put it in microwave also too. So in the microwave they can help a little bit to melt it. So let's see. You can put maybe about 20 seconds in the microwave, the uh, the chihuahua cheese. But if you wanna cover it in here, just put it in here and uh on top of everything and to melt it just cover with something you know we have our tortillas in here see we have our salsa this is the side. Usually in the restaurant, we put the tortillas, you know, salsa on the side also too. And people put it, everything in the, and right here in, in one of those plates, put everything together. People that just come to make your own tacos, they grab a tortilla, a little bit of salsa, and the cheese and the chorizo. You see the, you see the cheese, how it melted in the microwave? You can do it in the microwave, or you can do it in, the, in your pan, or your, but it's up to you guys. So let me put that one, you see? How is it? Okay. So it's very simple, guys. It's just skewer steak, chorizo, bell pepper, red onions. We made it up for the Chilango tacos, avocado tomatillo salsa, and the tortillas, salt and pepper, if you remember that. So we use it, a lot of ingredients from this. We use it for the cucumber drink. We use it for the chilango, and we use it for the for the alambre. So we have a lot of. You can use a lot of things with you know with with three plates. So drink, tacos, and tapas too. See? We 
had a steak, chorizo, cheese. So this is something you guys can share, you know, you grab a tortilla, a little bit, grab a little bit of cheese. That's what we do in the restaurant. Put a little bit of sauce on top and you see it, you know. We call it alambre tacos. So thank you so much guys for do this for opportunity for us, for Altigo Latin Fusion. We have a three locations and, and the two coffee shops. Very soon we open the coffee shop in uh, Wheaton Liberty. So we have a restaurant in Wheaton, 132 um, Heller Street in Wheaton, Illinois. We have a one in Aurora, one stall, Avenue in Aurora, Illinois too. And we have a next to us, we have a coffee shop in Aurora, Illinois too. And then we have Altiro Latin Fusion in Geneva. It's our first location. It's 308 Anderson Boulevard in Geneva, Illinois. And uh, very soon we open a coffee shop and a, and a Wheaton Liberty. Thank you so much, guys, for the opportunity. Um, have a wonderful day. Thank you. Hey guys, uh, my name is Roberto Avila. I'm a chef and owner to Altiro Latin Fusion Group. Uh, we're going to make it today uh, cucumber margarita. So we make it with uh, fresh cucumbers. We make it with fresh cilantro, fresh uh, serrano, and a fresh lime. We have a fresh lime juice, fresh orange juice, tequila, and I have an extra a little bit of triple sec. So uh, thank you for enjoying enjoy us about you know all this first for the uh, Whitney Library. Okay, so thank you so much guys for enjoying um, this demo. So let me start the drink first. So we start with uh, one pink glass, put a little bit of cucumber, guys. Okay, put some a little bit of lime. Okay, and I have like a half an ounce of agave nectar. Okay. So I have a little more, you know, and I put a little bit of cilantro in there. Okay, and now it's, uh, it's a little bit like a half, one and a half ounces of tequila. Okay, now this is like a half ounce triple sec. It's like a three quarters of ounces of lime juice, fresh lime juice, and a little bit of quarter ounce um, orange juice. And uh, the last thing we need to put it in, it's uh, serranos. We put a lot of this just for a little kick. Okay, guys, so let's, it's a little bit of ice in there. So we use it like a chili powder in the ring for the glass. And we strain the drink. This is our cucumber margarita. So I repeat the ingredients is cucumber, cilantro, lime, serranos. Fresh lime juice, fresh lime juice, tequila, I have a nectar, and that'll be it, buddy. And put a little bit of chili powder in the rim. So, all right, guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so that is it for our, our demo portion. So if you do have any questions for Roberto, our, our genius chef, so you can put those in the Q&A or the chat. He is on the call with us tonight. So feel free to say hello, Roberto. Hello, oh, guys. How are you? We're good. We're all probably really hungry, and uh, that looks delicious. Um, so, oh, okay. So you, if you see the questions, Roberto, you can go ahead. Um, our first one was, why cover the steak, chorizo, peppers, and cheese while it's still on the stovetop? What I cover? You said what I cover because I want to melt the cheese. So what I... What I uh, put in, uh, you guys can put a little bit of cheese and uh, put a little bit of cheese and in, in, in a microwave. But you know, I use a cover because all the, all the, you know, the, all the um, when I, you know, when all the flat it's uh, hot, so they they can melt it right away. 
makes sense. And then the, another question, what's the tool that you use to mash the cucumber and the cilantro in the drink? And also what's a good brand of tequila to use? What kind of brand of tequila do you use? Yeah. Oh, so I use it, I use it Casamigos, silver. Okay, so Casamigo, silver, and then uh, what was the tool that you used to mash the cucumber and the cilantro? So the cucumber you have to mash, it's like, you know, like a little, like, um, it's a model. Like, it's, like, it's a model, yeah. yeah, it's a model, but it's yeah. a good model. Okay. So you, can, you can have like a, like aluminum model, you can do like a good model, you can have like plastic model, so that you can find, you know, in, uh, beanies, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, and, you know, and maybe tap two and a jewel or, or, or maybe, um, another, another, uh, store, maybe on Walmart, you can find there, those guys there. Yeah. Okay. Were there any other questions? We saw those three, any questions while we have the chef here with us, especially on that first video that was kind of. <laughs> Hard to hear. He did say to you said to do the steak medium or was it rare since it's tacos? No, it's a medium. You know, medium. I, I cook medium. Yeah, because okay. I don't pe I don't think people they like like see you know a little bit like uh, a little blonde and the tortilla and the shawl, so they don't look like nice, you know. But and especially that that type of steak, it's really nice. It's a good. Um, it's really nice if you cook medium. Uh, medium. If you cook medium rare. I don't think it's gonna be very really, really nice for you know for the tacos. I agree. I'm a I like medium too. And then um, what yeah. was it? Uh, serrano to use in the drink? Serrano pepper, you said? Yeah, we use serrano pepper. So, uh, the serrano pepper we use it on the ends. So don't put it in the in the drink and model with the cilantro and uh, and cucumbers. Why? Because if you guys uh, put the cilantro and a cucumber and uh, and um, and uh, serrano and model everything together, that's gonna be super spicy, you know? So I always recommend that you just shake everything, but uh, when you model everything, after you guys shake everything, put a little bit of cilantro and shake it again, and that's just a little bit of flavor of the serrano. Some people, they like it super spicy, you know? But I don't think that they don't really need to put model the cilantro. Yeah, so if you want your drink to be really spicy, then go ahead and model serrano pepper and the cilantro in with your cucumbers so you can get all the juice out but if you don't like it super spicy you just want to add that little kick add add that at the end to so just give it a little shake but don't model it with um the juices and and the cucumber okay and yeah then... but in a restaurant sorry in a restaurant we don't we don't model the serrano at all so you just you just put it in and shake it it's a little kick it's a little flavor Okay, and then would uh, the steak work on an outdoor grill or would it be too dry? No, you know, it's, I don't think it's gonna be dry, you know. Okay, I don't see any more questions. If anyone has any, now is the time while we have him here. I don't see any. So I think that is a good place to stop. So thank you so much for phoning in tonight, Chef. Um, and thank you all for joining us. Like I said, we will edit those videos together and, and give you a nice finished product um, uh, after tonight's program. And if you do have any last minute questions, we can forward along to uh, Chef Roberto. So, so thank you so much for being here with us. And thank you so much for recording those videos. It's made everyone really hungry. Make sure to visit Altero Latin Fusion downtown Wheaton and stay tuned for the coffee coffee shop coming soon. Thank you so much, guys, for the opportunity. Thank you. And uh, um, Thank you. I hope to see you soon in a coffee shop. Definitely. Have a great night, everyone. Night. Thank you, guys. Thank you.